What's up guys, it's Hotite 7 rct bringing you another live stream. Today, we're going to be going over uh, the summer uh, Steam sale, Steam summer sale, actually. Uh, and I'm going to be showcasing basically the game, the top picks, my favorite picks, or what I was able to grab in that summer sale, at least this year, 2017. I mean... It wasn't so much that I picked up a ton of games, but more that I got a few that I wanted to get for the longest time, but I didn't get a chance, or they were they weren't at a price that I felt comfortable with. Uh, some I it just appeared like on my selections or recommendations or stuff, and basically some of them were games that I couldn't or I kind of missed out on during the past year, year and a half. Because you got to remember, guys, there are a ton of games coming out basically on all platforms constantly. So you're always going to miss a few really, really good titles that go under the radar, so to speak. And this is a Steam summer sale, and basically all of the sales that they have all around, all year around, Give you a chance to pick up on these titles that you kind of missed the first time around at least on the pc side of things now given that i kind of skipped on the whole current generation uh console stuff like uh specifically xbox one and playstation 4 i don't know what kind of deals they have on the digital market on those platforms even though i hear or i read here and there that they have also some good offers so it's kind of basically the, the PC equivalent of what you guys have over there on the console side. That being said, I'm not going to showcase all of them. Let me turn off the music here. I love the music. It's kind of distracting a little bit. Okay. So basically, what we're going to be doing is uh, covering at least, since the stream, I always tend to limit uh, the stream to at least somewhat an hour or so. Um... I'm just going to so showcase like four or five of them, but in actuality, I'll be showing you through the Steam uh, app, I'll be showing you which ones I actually picked up on the sale. Um, aside from the ones that I already have, I uh, have a huge backlog that I have to do for you guys. There are a ton of games that I want to stream for you guys. Um, for those of you who either haven't played the game or maybe heard about the game and haven't had a chance to play them, It'll be a good chance for you guys to give your input and see if you're maybe, I don't know, pick your interest and maybe you'll go ahead and grab the title for yourself. So, um, without further ado, let's go into the gameplay screen here. Now, it's a given, guys, that since I am a uh, shoot 'em up fan, among other uh, genres, I mean bring this here there you go a little bit more centered so you guys can see it I tend to have uh, more than a few uh, shoot 'em ups in my in my selection or my collection uh, case in point hey Afro so welcome welcome nice made the first spot all right um, as I was saying uh, saying to the guys here um, I tend to gravitate towards um, shoot 'em ups and fighting games a lot. Um, maybe recently more so than ever because I think I had a traumatic experience with Street Fighter V. I had a lot of faith going into that game when it came out, and it really, and like many others, it was basically a letdown because of the corporate uh, stuff that was you know, involved in, in the game, the release of the game, you know, they were focused more on releasing something that was uh, half-baked just for the sake of, you know, getting it ready for the tournament scene and for sponsors and all that stuff, and the gamers on this side who just purchased the game to have a good fighting game were left disappointed with a shell of a game that we, that uh, a franchise that we love, of course, which is Street Fighter. Now, that doesn't mean that we're without any options because, as I quickly found out, the, the newest um, version of Guilty Gear 
with a more modern version of Guilty Gear, uh, starting with Sign. I gravitated towards that, and that was that made more than enough for the lack of any really good content on Street Fighter V because I found basically a better fighter overall and with much more content. Um, that being said, those are not the only ones. There are also some indie fighting games, uh, one which I was able to pick up, which is Skullgirls. Now this one is a complete, complete package, so to speak. It has everything. These uh, the people behind the character design on this are currently about to release a game that's going to come out in all the current uh, platforms, including Switch. So stay tuned for that. That's I think it's a kind of a side-scrolling adventure in 2D. But you're going to notice by the character designs, the fighters, it's going to be very, very similar to that game. I'm going to find the name of that game later on, and I'll I'll let you guys know. Now let's see, out of the whole list here, um, basically I picked up on the sale, or during the sale, uh, Darius Burst, which I already streamed for you guys uh, last weekend. For today, which is going to be probably the first one that I'm going to be streaming for you guys, is Dodan Pachi, which you know is a cave game, uh, shoot 'em up, love it, and this version basically has, it's like to the... Uh, ninth degree basically you know it has all the bells and whistles everything fan service for the cave uh, shoot 'em up fan um, I also picked up uh, Dragon Knight which is kind of like a mixture of a a uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up this is kind of this of uh, um, a free game basically this is a, a part of the green light project and it's a very hen hentai ish because it has some naughty visuals. Um, I also picked up Elite Dangerous, which is a flight sim. Uh, amazing uh, game, basically. Uh, I would say the direct competitor to Star Citizen, and you know that that game, I basically, I adore that game. So yeah, I got a chance to now fly with the Elite in Elite Dangerous. And so on and so forth. There are plenty of games here. I'll go down through the list as I go. Let me um, get the first one booted up, which is Dodan Pachi. So you guys can check that out. Of course, I am going to be rocking the arcade stick because how else am I going to enjoy an incredible cave shoot 'em up if I don't use the beautiful arcade stick? Mwah, yeah. Sanwa buttons and Sanwa joystick all the way, baby. So, there we go. Now, this version of Dora Pachi. Sound doesn't become too crazy. In any case that it's too loud, let me know so I can turn it down for a bit. In this case, this version of the Apache uh, has everything. It has a normal mode, has a 1.5, and like three or four other versions, including this one right here, which is the black label, which is like the Super Saiyan of the Dora Apache. In different uh different labels, of course, I don't know this uh, black label. But as you can see there's uh, different versions. The ones that you're used to uh, seeing me uh, stream uh, usually through hyperspin uh, playing the actual arcade game is this one, version 1.5. You know this one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. So, options. I'll go into that. Into the game, and then once the game is booted, I will go the screen. Now, there is a variety of, of formats 
uh, aspect ratios that you can mess around with so you can have like the screen in vertical mode because there's a vertical shoot em up there's even a side like most of the vertical shoot em ups uh, have the option to put the display on a side since I don't have the type of monitor that you can actually set on the side I'm gonna be wasting my time trying to do it so I leave it at the regular 16 9 aspect ratio however you can mess with the options a little bit just to get the screen a tad bigger by doing full zoom just so it fits the screen a bit better you can take advantage of maybe make it a little thicker and yeah that should be that should take care of that and from there we go into the game basically for bringing all of the awesome cage shooters stateside and basically outside of Japan. And little by little I've been trying to collect all of them. Taking my time of course. Another one that I picked up that I met for you guys in a little while is uh, actually Karuga. Uh, another legendary title. Go first boss. Oh, going rice. I hope you're watching this. I like this. Hey guys, playing this game in 4K, 
you know that forte is kind of like talked about everywhere and it's more like related to cutting edge graphics and all that stuff. Man, this, this looks beautiful. That would probably be stuff in 4K. Hey Rip Ice, welcome buddy. Nice of you to make it. Hope you're doing good, man. As you can see, this is one of the titles that I picked up on the Steam Summer Sale. I just had to have this one to my collection, man, because this one is like... I know they, the, they came out with a version of it uh, for the 360 a while back. But this one kind of has like all the versions, the like P5, the arrangement, the black label, everything, everything. It's just a... For a fan like me of Shoot'em Up and Cave, it is like the perfect collection. So yeah, brother, I got a day off, you know, and just trying to have a little bit of fun here and have fun with you guys. Picked up quite a few uh, nice titles, to be honest. Let me get, uh, let me get. screen again okay since you're here uh, yeah basically I I was able you, you remember that I did Darius burst last week right that one I picked up picked up Doran Pachi uh, Dragon Knight which is uh, you're gonna love this one it is a little bit kind of like on the hentai side because it has some naughty visuals but it's a nice uh, manga style 2d uh, kind of like, let's say, like Golden Axe, something like that, but anime style, really, really good. Um, Elite Dangerous, Ghost Blade HD, which is another shoot 'em up in the same vein of, of the one that I'm doing right now. God Eater 2, which I'm going to be um, playing for you guys probably at the end. Uh, there's so many of them, man. Hurricane of Varstray, another shoot 'em up. These are all titles that were kind of like they went under the radar uh, Darius, Darius is really 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 good and it's a huge game I mean you have tons and tons of content there plus the DLC which I still haven't gotten all of them because they I got the Sega and Cave pack but there's the 18 pack there is um, some PlayStation 1 shooters uh, pack in there it's it's amazing man it's tons tons of fun and this one right here Ikaruga which I'm gonna play right after this is like the definitive version too it's like the HD has all the display and stuff that you want to do really really good and you know this one is really really hard as well I picked up Metal Gear Solid 5 that has all the freaking DLC I'm gonna get a chance to play it now from the very beginning to the end with everything without having to wait with crazy download content you know I got to uh, pick up quite a few of them, man. Really, really good. But for now, as the second game that I'm going to put on here, I'm going to go with Guilty Gear. Now, this version, don't confuse it with the first one that I did for you guys. The first one that I did for you guys was Guilty Gear Signed. That was like the first version. This one is Guilty Gear Exerd Revelator. This is the version that came out a few months, I think it was for PlayStation 4. Um... But this one goes even further. This one is Revelator Second Sign. Uh, second Sign, was it? No, Second Revision or Second Version. So it has even more content. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, Ikaruga on the GameCube and Dreamcast is... Whew, it's just too much, man. The first one I got to play was the Dreamcast one. Was it? Was it the Dreamcast one? Yeah, it was the Dreamcast. Then later on, uh, came out the GameCube version of it. But overall, amazing, man. Okay, Guilty Gear. All right. And 
can't, you know, I'm going to play these games. Um, I'm going to play the ones with uh, that favor the arcade stick first, since I have it hooked up. That way, when I have... Guilty Gear Exar, Rev 2. Now, what's different here from the one that I played? Oh man, oh, there's like double the characters, more story, more cinematics, more modes. I mean, this this makes Street Fighter Five. Yes, it makes it, it, makes it look terrible. And the visuals, the music on it, you know, the sound of that. Guilty Gear Exar, Ram 2. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, where you have basically all the characters that you can imagine from the series. And to put it into a fighting game, a selection in a fighting game specifically. In a classic fighting game, usually the, the amount of characters are less, so they can focus more on the animation and stuff like that. I hope that no characters are not Guilty oh, Gear Exar. Ram 2. And I'm also hoping that a version comes out for Switch eventually. We're gonna get Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 around September. So. Yep. ソルと共に元老院の侵略を退けた貝しかしそれはより巨大な陰謀の前触れに過ぎなかったさらなる熾烈な戦いを予想し一末の不安を宿す貝の瞳の色をディズィは見逃さなかった
まさか再生するとはパラダイムさんの話ではもう少し時間がかかるそうですよ Also, stay tuned because、uh, one of the games that I picked up during this whole mess was. I caught all my. Rash could I this year? Is another guy you're working in a new version for the first time of Vanquish. So, me and Oscar. Okay, let's forward the story a little bit here. So, no, you're not made me to a. So, you're not made me to a. の剣はいつの間にこんなにも短くなったのでしょう以前はこの切っ先が届く中に世界が収まっていたのに私はただ仲間を守りたいだけです守る私もです私もただ言葉ならばい,いえ互いにみ
何卒よしなにエンマドンヤメだ負けないまでも勝てねあんたは星に恵まれたな俺には無用の星だ And play one with Chip. Over. Kind of. Okay. There's another mode where you collect medals and customize your characters. to the story because I know that's going to take a long time. So yeah, let me do Episode. one more episode for the chip. Who dares to enter the main stage? It also be so bad, guy. Chip sound. The difference between this one and Sign is like it's like a complete different sequel. Even though it's not the same. Okay. Chip. Chip. First one. Chip. 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 これは緊急ですね急ぎましょうあれ、なるファイナルのオープンアイスイーツなそう、レッツセイ、ちょっとウェイフォーズ、フェイスアップですねヘブンオーヘブンデュオーデュオーデュオーデュオーデュオーデュ
So yeah, next one up. Gonna alternate here and go for the Ikaruga I was mentioning. Now I know this one is gonna be more. At least this uh, stream is gonna be more uh, shoot 'em ups and beat 'em ups because later on the main games like let's say Metal Gear Solid and and Tomb Raider, which I actually got also, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I kind of missed last year. Uh, given that that um, like I said, I don't have the the current uh, consoles. I'm um, basically I've been uh, strictly PC and Nintendo consoles uh, for quite some time. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe next generation I'll go for all of them. But I haven't been compelled to to have an Xbox One or a PlayStation Four, not even a PlayStation Four Pro. Who knows? Maybe with the Xbox One. X, I'll be compelled, even though I haven't seen any games that really warrant, but we'll see. Tomb Raider was another one. Amazing in 4K. It runs absolutely fantastic, um, but this one I'll leave for another day, obviously, because it's a long-ass game, and it has a lot of story involved. So I'm going to keep it light and go with Ikaruga, so you guys can see how it looks. Looks and feels... Ikaruga here. Oh, I had forgot. I forgot to add Ikaruga. Interesting. Okay, so okay. Hold on there a second. There you go. guys and bring it all the way down here there we go so
open options. Controls. Ah, uh, this one you have to program for the. It doesn't have controller options for it. Oh, okay. So I'll leave this one for another day because it's going to be a pain in the ass to set up. So, yeah, that would have been nice, but I'll leave that one for a specific shoot em up stream then. No harm done. What we'll do is let's do Skullgirls. Now, this game has been has been around for quite some time. You can call this an indie fighter, although the level of expertise uh, put in this game and that logo right there, GDPO, those guys are awesome. Those guys are behind the whole um, fight which I love. Second Encore, which has all the DLC, has all the extra characters, including the male character, the two male characters, as you know, all of these uh, fighters are girls. It's not that it's uh, there's problems with the game, it's that I did not configure it. I thought I configured it for the stream, meaning that I, I thought that I configured it for the controller. But I did not, apparently, and it was configured to the keyboard. So what I need to do is I need to kind of like program it to recognize the uh, arcade stick and to use the arcade stick. And since that's going to take a lot of time, I mean, So yeah, this is second on board. Uh, it has more characters because I, I think at the beginning it only had like seven or eight. So it's like adding more. This one is new. The old wolf male character. We have Kukwa. Uh, this is another new character. Double is basically like the, the second version of the last boss. Our fortune. This one was there, I think she was. And there's another one. There's another one here. You see him. There he is. Big bad. I think this one was one of the first characters I made that show. Crazy. Everything that he does is, uh, is an attack with the instruments. I'm gonna pick him. Is another one that is a 
ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! First move. Trumpet! 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 Give me it! You're playing with power. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
So far, squiggly. Beat him up, guys. Action. Over. Those are some choice pieces of calico. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Fight one more of you guys. I would love to stay in my time. 
Because if not, then the game will not obey. Uh, let me leave the, the Steam menu here open while I do that. And set it to the side. Let me verify that the controller is responding. PlayStation controller here. Okay, and let's go. Now this one right here, Trouble Witches, that's one that I need to stream for you guys later on. Marvel vs. Capcom, when it comes to uh, Fighters, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But for now, the last one we have in here is Vanquish. Which is, you can call an old Sega. However, on the PC it found a new life. Because now you can actually play the damn game in 4K with a ton of graphical upgrades and embellishments. Yeah, the controller's working fine. I don't know about the uh, frames per second. I'm gonna see in any case I'm gonna just gonna run the game and if it's uh, a little too high for streaming then I'll, I'll just lower the settings a little bit. Because right now I have to run it in a 1440p window. Since I'm using a 4 monitor, if I use a 1080 window, it's gonna be too small for me. So it's running at a higher resolution that you'll be able to find in the console. Looking good. The scenery's a little bland, though. All right. Let's proceed with functionality testing. Now, We're starting I with Electro-Optimal Targeting yeah, Systems Calibration. This is from Platinum Games. You know, from the Sam, I'm going to display a virtual target. Try to follow it visually. Let me know and I'll adjust the optical nerve sensors. You know, this is a real pain in the ass. How many times are you guys gonna make me do this? It's important we have baselines, Gideon. Just because you can read a manual doesn't mean you know what you're doing.
true. You know I know what I'm doing, so let's do something different. What's on today's test schedule? Look, I know you're in a rush to get to the bar, but we've got a lot to go over. Passing full control to you now. Okay, let's exit tutorial because... Very well. I think that's enough for today's test. Gotta go straight into the game. Good job, Sam. That little workout made me hungry. Elena, you up for some luckies? platinum games and so far I even though I still have a uh, near automata I still haven't uh, gone through but this one Shinji Mikami is the guy behind the Mega Man series and some other series but this one is one that I actually missed out on back in the 360 days, so to have it over here and be able to check it out at a much better graphic quality. It's a plus, especially with the pricing too, because most of these games from Platinum on PC are basically coming out on a basic of 20 bucks. This one, especially uh, for the new episode, if you're still watching, Josh looks, uh, used to like this game a lot. I used to see him play the demo on his PlayStation 3 and on the back. I wouldn't doubt that he uh, finished this game a long time. Get the cinematics, yeah. Okay. Get through that central gate. We aren't gonna get through it like this, sir. Can you see the gate on the left, Sam? 
Yeah. If you go there, you should be able to flank the enemy from behind. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. But, however, that doesn't mean that later on I'll get to cover some more of uh, the games that I have here. Still to come later on, I'm going to do a little bit of Payday 2, a uh, little bit of the Rise of the Tomb Raider, Cinemora, which is the old version of Cinemora EX is going to be coming out very soon for the Switch. I think a PC version is coming up too. Um, let's see, Trouble Witches. And let me see what else. There was something else here. Elite Dangerous. I got to play that one for you guys. Crazy, crazy space sim. And Ghost, Ghost Blade. I'm going to leave those to see if uh, my buddy uh, Glory Rice comes around. Haven't seen him for a while. And of course, I'm still playing Berz Berserk, Band of the Hawk. Amazing game. I just got to play it through short little spurts because it, it kind of gets repetitive. But... It's action-packed, definitely. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, short stream on what I picked for the uh, stream, uh, uh, Steam Summer Sale. Hope you guys enjoyed those titles, and I hope you guys had a chance to pick 
up on your own games during this sale probably they'll do another sale uh, around August time back to school stuff like that so stay tuned for that until next time take care guys see you later